Hey everyone, it's Michael here with, from goodyreader.com. Amazon reigns supreme when it comes to e-readers. They have a stranglehold on the US and UK market, two of the most populous ones in the world. Canada, they reign, you know, they're also one of the most popular devices. So estimates are around like 70 to 80 percent market share in all three of those countries and one thing that amazon has never done is color they've done black and white e-readers they've pretty well gone as far as they could using the latest generation e-paper technology uh, ming ching kuo is a name that you probably have heard of before if you follow Apple News. He's one of those analysts that are pretty spot on in terms of a track record. He understands the supply chain and everything like that. So all the major Apple news sites constantly reference him whenever he issues his you know, monthly or bi-monthly reports. He actually dropped some news in regards to the Kindle. He said that Amazon is anticipating a six inch and 10 inch color Kindle using an advanced color e-paper. It's expected to be ready by 2025. Uh, unlike Kaleido 3, advanced color e-paper achieves a stunning full color representation without the need of color filters. Uh, this allows for enhanced saturation and contrast. Uh, further, advanced color e-paper employing oxidine backplanes that ensures superior responsiveness. So he's in basically anticipating that this will increase the cost of the Kindles anywhere between 40 and 60 percent. In you know, when it comes to color e-paper versus black and white, so you can expect that whatever color Kindle that's six or 10 inches, perhaps a Kindle, color Kindle Scribe, a color Kindle Paperwhite seems to be the most likely. So it's 2024, so 2025 is just about a year away. And Amazon, obviously, when they do manufacturing, this is a telltale sign that analysts that follow the upstream supply chains, they have a, a better idea because, you know, Ming Ching Kuo, you know, obviously understands the Chinese supply chain more than probably anyone else. And so if Amazon's working on a project for next year using color e-paper, they're doing this right now because, you know, it takes from a concept to molds and prototype devices to manufacturing to FCC applications. All of this takes a lot of time. So Amazon's obviously doing this right now so it'll be actually pretty interesting to see what amazon will actually do with a color e-paper so advanced color e-paper is just a sort of a fancy name for likely gallery three because that's ba based on advanced color e-paper technology so fifty thousand colors uh you know, responsiveness so amazon will probably make this a really good device because really there's only one gallery three e-reader on the market and that's like the big me galley no one else has really adopted gallery three and i think it has a lot of untapped possibilities advanced uh, you know when it comes to kaleido three everybody adopts that because it's just basically an extra filter on top of the e-reader so it requires no really no added coding no engineering power or anything like that or gallery three in order to really make it ready for prime time requires a monumental effort in terms of making this responsive making it a good user experience because a lot of people adopt kindles because you can buy kindle books right on it you can buy audible audiobooks and a color Kindle makes a lot of sense considering Amazon owns Comixology. So color comics on the Kindle, perhaps, magazines, uh, newspapers, a full color PDF editing on a Kindle Scribe follow-up. It's a lot of, lot of interesting things going on here. So what do you think about this? Would you buy a color Kindle even if the price increased anywhere between 40 and 60% versus the black and white displays? So it adds to the cost, but don't forget when people buy Kindles, they're not upgrading Kindles like they are smartphones. You know, people 
I know a lot of people that every year a new iPhone comes out, they just trade in the old iPhone and they get a new one. With Kindles, you know, people hang on to them for years and years because the technology really doesn't undergone a massive paradigm shift. So drop a comment below. I want to hear what you guys think. And for goodreader.com, my name is Michael, and everybody take care.